So Algorithm just launched the latest version of its DJ app for iOS. It brings a new streamlined interface that's made specifically for touchscreen to making it easy to navigate the different DJ screens. Plus, it's got some cool new live performance features on board if you sign up for the DJ Pro monthly subscription. It costs $4.99 a month and you get great stuff like the new Looper interface, MIDI Learn and MIDI Controller Mapping, you get video mixing, as well as advanced AI auto mixing. In this first look video, we'll take a brief tour of the new DJ interface, then we'll check out the looper and see what it can do. Let's dive right in. Right now, what we're seeing is the classic mode of DJ. You've got your two graphic turntables over there, and you've got your track load buttons here on the upper left and the upper right, and I can do that simply just by pressing on them. And right now, I'm seeing songs that I have in my iPad. These are uh, my iTunes library music, so I can load something from, say, uh, this playlist over here. Um, yeah, so Africa by Toto. So I've got that in there, and what I can also do is I can load tracks from Spotify, and to do that, I just press the track load button, and then I go back, press on this drop down over here, then I go to Spotify, and then now I got access to all my Spotify playlists over here. So let's say I wanna go to like my throwbacks playlist, which I've made, and I wanna play this one by Robin. So that loads over on the deck, easy peasy, no problem. Again, you're gonna need an internet connection and a Spotify premium account in order to do this. So you still have the normal stuff in here. You got your transport controls at the bottom, pitch faders on either side. You've got your uh, turntable platter graphic over here, just like that. And you can opt to change this, like if you wanna see the mixer in the middle, just press that tab. You're gonna get your volume faders and your filtering knobs over there. You can also choose to see the waveforms in a vertical manner, just like that. Also good for scratching, and if you press this one, you can now access the looper from within the classic mode screen. And we're gonna take a look at looper later on, but basically what this does is it lets you launch clips, whether those are samples like one shots or their music loops. In this case, you've got like a kick music loop going on in here, got a clap, and these basically sync to any music that you are playing on the decks, which is pretty handy. Let's just stop that. And uh, if you wanna access like the old school sampler, which are basically just one shot effects, those are still here. All right, so let's take a look at the other interfaces and screens that DJ has. So in order to do that, I just need to press the DJ icon over here at the top. And now I'm gonna be showing like all the different menus that are available. So you've got seven in total, classic mode, which is what we just saw. You've got auto mix, which is the AI auto mixing feature. You've got two decks mode, which is, uh, it shows you basically your library in the lower half of the screen, as well as uh, the waveforms over at the top. You've got a looper, which is a six by eight grid of loops and clips that you can trigger. Four decks, which is four decks mode, single deck mode, which is used more for preparation, as well as video mode, which lets you do all of your video mixing. Now we're gonna take a look at them one by one. So we're already done with classic mode. Let's take a look at the auto mix screen. Now this is where you can load songs uh, in a playlist and you can ask DJ to sort of mix them one after the other. It's pretty easy to do. Just press the play button, load the songs in the playlist. And then when you wanna do a transition to the next song, just press the forward button or the next button and it will automatically mix the songs for you. So this is pretty handy if say you're a mobile DJ, you're doing a function and then uh, you don't actually have to spin, let's say it's background music during a dinner. So instead of just, you know, filling up like an iTunes playlist and then one song play after another with like little gaps uh, in between or, you know, poorly mixed songs, you can have DJ do all the mixing for you. And this sounds particularly good if you are playing music that is like dance or, you know, has like a nice steady beat, but it even works pretty well with like pop tunes or maybe even some instrumentals like, you know, classical stuff. Uh, just don't expect any beat matched, you know, symphonies on Beethoven and Mozart, that kind of thing. But yeah, great for background music, especially if you are a mobile DJ like functions. And the cool thing about AI auto mixing in DJ Pro is you get access to like different types of mixing styles. So if you press that little drop down over here, well, it's more of like a drop up and then a drop down. You can take a look at like different types of transitions in here. And then you've also got the duration. You can set for how long the mix is gonna be. 
and you've also got like tempo adjust in there. So you can have like a variety of options that you can change depending on the style of auto mixing that you want. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's go to the next screen, which is two decks mode. And as I mentioned earlier, this is basically what it does is it splits the screen into two. So you've got your waveforms and deck displays over here in the top. And if you've got your library here at the bottom, this is something that will look a little bit more familiar for DJs who are used to spinning with laptop software, similar to like Recognize DJ or say Serato DJ, you've got your stacked waveforms over there in the top. So you've got your transport controls here, looping and all that other good stuff, pitch controls, and then you've got your waveform displays. Now over here at the bottom, you're able to access your laptop library. So yes, you can view whether you want to look at stuff that's stored on your iPad or your iOS device. You've got your Spotify stuff in here, all of your playlists. And uh, if you've got any videos that are loaded, you can also access them through here. So basically this gives you uh, a clear view of the stuff that you've already got in your library as well as what's currently playing in your decks. And DJs, again, who are more uh, experienced with like, you know, they, they've spent more time spinning with laptop DJ software, they're going to want to prefer using this compared to like a classic mode, which basically is a little bit more simplified. But at the same time, this one just gives you so much more uh, information in a single screen. I really love what algorithms done here. Now, apart from viewing your library here on the lower half, you can also take a look at the mixer just by pressing the mixer icon. So again, you've got your volume faders in there, filter knobs, uh, cross fader here at the bottom, your transport controls, move over here. And now you've got access to effects and these are uh, XY pad effects that you can uh, meddle and mess around with using your fingers. Very, very cool uh, for, for when you're playing at a gig. And uh, you can also access like the looper over in here as well as the sampler. Currently what we're seeing is the sampler. Again, got all of these effects. And then if you press the button over here on the lower right, you'll be able to access the looper and you can access different packs, whatever you've got loaded over onto um, your installation of DJ Pro. So again, whenever you're playing something over here on the decks, the loops that you trigger over here in the looper sync in time with them. So let's try that right now. This one, so currently, that's the BPM. Just play something over here. And automatically, you're gonna hear that it sounds in time and in sync with whatever's happening. And claps. Just like that. So again, lots of creative possibilities for when you are out gigging and performing, you wanna do like some live remixing while you're spinning. I think this is the screen or this is the interface in DJ Pro that lets you do it pretty uh, conveniently and at the same time, pretty intuitively. You don't have to go skipping to like, you know, different uh, menus or having to go to like a different screen. You know, you're gonna lose whatever you're spinning and it's easy to just get lost with like a piece of software that's quite robust, right? What Algorithm has done really, really well here is they've basically made it so easy to do and the graphics are just really great. I think like this is the most intuitive and best looking piece of software that you can find on iOS at the moment. So that is two decks mode. And since we've been playing around with Looper already, might as well take a look at the Looper screen, which is this time, this is the dedicated Looper screen. So now you've got like all eight uh, columns of the Looper arranged over here. And at the bottom, you've got eight volume faders. So that lets you um, mix in and mix out any of these individual loops that you're triggering. And it's just really easy to do because all of these sync up with whatever you're playing. So let's try loading a different track here. Um, I'm gonna go for like Lo-Fi House. And let's say I want to play a track by, hmm, DJ Seinfeld, okay. So let's say you've got this going. 128 BPM, anything that you trigger here now will then sync up with whatever you've got loaded over here at the top. So let's say I wanna add like some hi-hats. You can see like the tempo over here in the looper automatically syncs up with what you've got playing on the deck. You know if you wanna set a loop. Loop it like that. Then you can add claps. It's kind of fun. And then, you know, um, you can stop that. And then suddenly you've got like this nice hi-hat and clap loop going. And then you can start playing kick drums under it. You can start playing bass lines, just like this. 
and you know you can have like an entire song going that was basically an offshoot of a track that you just played earlier so this kind of live remixing lends itself really well to this kind of touch interface but again the cool thing about uh, the new dj pro is that it takes advantage of the USB-C connection that's found in the newer iPad. So you can plug in any kind of MIDI class compliant controller. So let's say you've got something like a Novation grid pad. You can plug that in and instead of having to, you know, press any of these uh, icons on screen, you can just map them over onto the launch pad. And while you're DJing, you can just press uh, those pads on your grid controller and automatically you're going to be able to uh, launch those clips, one shots, loops, and samples. And I think that's really awesome. Algorithm has just made it so easy to come up with a live remixing solution. And at the moment, I'm currently using like the Deep House Pack. This one comes with the installation and you can go to uh, the online store and you can download others in here. So let's say I want to get Ambient House. And let's try analog techno, I'm just randomly downloading stuff here. And then now let's say I want to switch packs from Deep House and I want to go to the Ambient House one. Just press that one. And then now I've got like a new fresh set of loops that I can jam out to. So let's try that. Cool, and I can mess around with this. Want to remove them, just like that. And when I want to bring them back in, easy peasy. Okay, so that's it for Looper. Now let's take a look at the other screens in here. You've got four decks, and four decks mode, you are going to see. As the name suggests, four decks, so you can load more tracks in there. And you can sync them all up. And you can play them all at the same time if you want to. You can assign them to which uh, crossfader they respond to or which channel in the crossfader just by pressing this button over here. You can also set it to through. So basically what this means is they are not going to be crossfader dependent. And what's going to happen is you need to use the volume faders in order to let them fade in or fade out uh, of the mix. So always better to just, you know, put them in their default crossfader assignment just to make things a lot easier. So there you go, that's four decks mode. Check out the other stuff in here. You got single deck mode. As I said earlier, this is more for preparing your tracks, maybe adding hot cue points and all that good stuff. So this looks pretty similar to what you'd find in record boxes export mode. You're basically gonna see like one track or one song at the top deck. And then you've got you know all of your uh, metadata editing controls over here. You can add your cue points. You've got uh, hot cues over there. You can add or delete them if you want. And you can also set cue points and that kind of thing. And also, like uh, this is also reminiscent of uh, Serato DJ's preparation mode, uh, which basically shows up when you don't have anything connected. So you're going to get that single deck at the top of your screen. And uh, this also makes it a lot easier to manage your libraries from within the app itself because you've got a larger view of your um, library browser over here at the lower half of the screen, or I should say the lower two thirds of the screen. So that's what single deck use is good for. Again, you're only gonna be able to access this if you are a DJ Pro subscriber. If you're using the free version, you're not gonna see this over on the interface. Okay, now lastly, let's take a look at video mode. Now this lets you mix video. And the cool thing about this is, again, it just functions similar to uh, the decks over here in DJ and you know you can scratch with them if you like. You've got the waveform display here at the top and over here in the middle, this is basically what is being output to the main monitor. So as I mentioned earlier, if you're using one of the newer uh, iPad Pros that has just come out, you can use the USB connection in order to connect an external display. Uh, you know, you can use like an HDMI dongle or something like that. And then when you plug that in there, this is basically what is going to be shown over on the screen. So so if you're a VJ, you're DJing and you do like a lot of par, bub, pub gigs, you know, sports bars and that kind of thing, they've always got screens, right? So you can just plug in to them and then you can mix the set. And the cool thing about this is apart from having these built-in visuals that you can see at the top of the screen, 
you also have access to the looper uh, feature set over here on the lower half of the screen. Now this basically lets you trigger these visual loops. And when you press them, just like that, let's say, playing a loop, they all show up on screen as well. So it's easy to come up with like some really zany, really crazy out of these world cool animations. So that's it for this first look talk through. If you've got an iPhone or iPad, I highly recommend that you try it out. Again, it's free to download, but if you want to access the advanced stuff like Looper, you'll need to sign up for the monthly subscription. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now get good, get out there, and make the moments.